Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is how to upgrade your MicroTik device from a 6 dot series to the 7 dot series of router OS or the 7 dot O release. So what we're going to use in this video is my map light. And if I haven't told you how much I love these little access points, oh, they're so versatile. Uh, and you're going to see a video that I'm, I'm going to be uh, releasing here along with these other videos about just how versatile this thing really is. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade this. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need router OS 7, and you're going to need uh, to connect to this device. So I am uh, connected to the device, and what you're going to do is you're going to cruise on over to microtick.com, and you're going to go to software. Now, this is the main uh, page where you download. You can see we're on 7.8 stable. There's 7.9 beta 4. Run that at your own risk. But you're looking at the uh, processor architecture over here, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know, right? So what you need to do, log into your MicroTik device. So I'm logged into, I'm using WebFig. I really like WinBox, but you can do this in Web, WebFig. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to system and we're going to go to resources and under resources, you're going to see this architecture name and it's M MIPS B E. And it's important that you, that you grab the correct, um, architecture, because if you don't, this process is going to fail. You're not going to get any warnings. You're not going to get any messages. It's just not going to work. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to be like, why didn't my upgrade happen? Well, it's because you used the wrong architecture. So we're going to grab the MIPS SBE, which is right here. So we're going to grab the main package. There are also extra packages, but we're going to grab this main package and it's going to download. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the router here in a second. Now I am, I'm connected to the map light via Wi-Fi. It's basically, uh, I factory defaulted it, so it's in a factory state, so there's no password, because that's one other thing I wanted to show you with router OS 7. But we're going to come over here now, and we're going to go to files, and what we're going to do is we're going to upload, we're going to select uh, that file we just downloaded, and we're going to upload it. Okay, so... Uh, the file is uploaded, or it's uploading, and now all you have to do is reboot the system. It's that easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to reboot, and we're going to say yes. So this is going to reboot, and uh, we're going to be right back. I do want to mention, too, that this update will take a few minutes, even though this is a small device, and you can't see it on camera, but if you watch the LEDs here, you're going to see different flashing patterns and things like that. Don't worry if this thing doesn't respond for a few minutes because it does. It does take a few minutes for the upgrade to complete. All right, so the upgrade is completed. took, I don't know, less than five minutes. So I went ahead and connected back to the router, and we're going to refresh this. And now what it's going to do is it should load router OS 7, and it may not like that I left this web web fig stuff. There we go. All right, so... First thing now with router OS 7. So in the 6 series, there was no password by default. So I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm going to put in, it's going to force us to put in a password. So good for MicroTik for doing, um, you know, good things with passwords and security. And we're going to hit change now. And you can see we're on router 7.8 stable. So that's it. We're going to do some other things with this. Um, we're going to do some other things with this map light. Like I said, this is, this access point so versatile. It's one of my favorite pieces of hardware. I mean, you can really with this and an edge router, cause you can power this with the edge router. You can build a super small portable, uh, network kit that you can take with you and power very, very easily. And we're going to get into all of that. So, uh, if you've got any questions about the upgrade, it should work this way with most micro tick devices, super easy, no reason to not be on the latest router OS, unless there's a, a feature or a function that's not working as expected, but micro tick has made huge strides. And I mean, you already see we're on 7.9 beta. So how much longer till eight's out? I don't know. There was always jokes, you know, about how long it took seven to come out, but let me know 
if you have questions about this upgrade process down in the comments. I'll answer any of those that I can. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our Amazon affiliate link. I'll leave a link to the map light. Uh, our Patreon link is there. And if you need IT consulting, you can reach out at willyhow.com. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That is our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.